How do you inscribe a perfect star in a pentagon? Hello everyone and welcome to PA Academy. In this video, I'm going to be taking you step by step how to inscribe a perfect star in a pentagon. So if you're, if you're on your screen now, you can see you already have a pentagon drawn. And if you don't know how to draw a pentagon or you want to know how to go ahead to draw a pentagon, I'll leave a link in the description of this particular video that will put you through how to draw a regular pentagon. So before we continue with this video, please if you are new to this channel or you are yet to subscribe to PA Academy, please take out time to click on the subscribe button. It's absolutely free to subscribe. So please click on that subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. Alright, so thank you very much if you have just subscribed. So now let's go ahead with this video to describe a perfect star inside this polygon. So now in this polygon, you can see I've already marked this point A, B, C, D, and then E. So those are the points that you are going to aid us in drawing our perfect star. That is 5 star. 5 pointed star. So now we are going to be starting from point A. So you can choose to start from any of the points, but I'm choosing to start from point A. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line from point A to point C. The concept is this. So from point A, I'm going to skip one, the next point and draw a line to the point that follows. So that means from point A, I'll skip point B, draw a line to point C. Now the line I'm going to be drawing, I'm going to draw a faint line. I'm going to make it a faint line. So I already have the first line drawn. I hope you can see it. Let me just, but make sure it is faint. Like I can see mine, but I it's not showing properly in the camera. So let me just make it a little bit visible so that you can see it. So I believe you can see it like this. Now, so from point C, again, we are going to skip point D and draw a line to point E. So now let's do that. So, but make sure it's faint line, faint line, because it's only the star that we want to be visible. So now from C to point E. So from point E again, you are going to skip point A and draw a line to point B. So this, don't forget this. So if you are starting from anywhere, just follow the same order. Once you get to any point, you skip, you skip the one that next to it and then you draw the line to the one that follows. So from point E, you skip point A, you draw it to point B. So you, because it will still give you the same results. So now from point B. So from point B, we are going to skip point C and draw a line to point D. So it's going to be looking like this. And then from point D, we are going to be skipping point E and draw a line to point A. So which is going to be the last line that we are going to be drawing. Because that has made sure we touch all the points. If you look at it, so from point A, if you should skip point B and to C, you can see we already have a line drawn. So this is the last one. So now if you look at this now, you are already having something that looks like a star. But let's note some of this uh, intersection here. So all this intersection here, just let's note them. This, this, and then this. So let me just call this point 1. Let me call this point 2, 3, 4, and then 5. So now with from point one, so I'm going to draw a line from point one to point A. If the line is already there, but just to trace it out to make it bold, that is to make our star to come out itself. So from point one, I'll draw the line to point A, making it bold from point one to point E. So from point two to point E like that, and I'll bring out the star. So if you already find the value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. So like this, so from point one to point E. So from point 1 to point E, from point E and to point 2, you can see we're already having our star. So that's why I said when you are drawing all these lines that is going from A to C, C to E, you should make it faint. So it is only the lines that will bring out the star, like the one I'm drawing now, that you make it bold. So, so you continue like that, so from point D to point 3. So from point 3 to point C. Then from point C to point 4. Now from point 4 to point B. So from point B to point 5.
and then from point 0.5 to point A. And this is it. So you can see we already have our five star inscribed in a pentagon. So this is how you go ahead to draw a perfect star in a, in a pentagon. So if you find value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are yet to subscribe, please consider subscribing to this channel. And if you also want to know how to draw other pointed stars, six pointed stars, seven pointed stars, and so on, I'll leave a link to those videos in the description of this particular video. So do make sure you check out the description of this video. There are a lot of helpful links there. So you can also check our playlist on engineering and technical drawing. So if you're interested in knowing more about engineering and technical drawing, do make sure you check out our playlist. So if you have any questions or any comments for me, do leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you all in another video. Thank you. Thank you.